you guys can see um, my hair have grown a whole lot um I just blow dry my hair and everything so my roots is a little bit tame they're not all the way all the way down like if I flat iron it but I just blow dry it and I did a lot melted um the lot method is basically um liquid oil and cream so I did my lot method and I really don't want to cut my hair like I was having all kind of ups and downs with my hair like okay well should I cut it should I um go back natural like I was just thinking about all kind of stuff to do with my hair because I was actually getting really tired and I think I'm getting tired because of the ends but um yeah so this is how my hair is looking now as you guys can tell my hair my hair have grown a whole lot if I did not mention that already I'm just gonna turn around to the back again now that I have my hair blow dried so this is how it looks in the, um, in the back okay so um yeah so um I really do not want to cut it but I am going to go ahead and cut it um, like I told you before, I'm going to be cutting it like about right here. So like about right there. And then um, in December, I'm going to cut it one more let like the rest of the die out. So I guess at the beginning of 2020, that would be my year that I just fully just grow out my hair. No cutting, um, only trims and all that good stuff. And as for my... As for my, what do call my hair journey, I'm still going to do my hair journey and it's going to be like a year and a couple of months difference, but I'm going to, like, if I do not get to my, my, um, my gold uh, bra strap length or longer, I'm just going to add on an extra year because since this year right here, I was just cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting my hair. But you guys, just imagine if I never cut my hair or I never dyed my hair. My hair would have been super long right now. My hair probably been about right here right now because uh, before I actually, I mean, you can go look at the video, but before I actually um, dyed my hair and everything, well, not dyed my hair, because I did dye my hair when I lived in my old house. And I record my video, that video when I was here. So, um, before I actually cut my hair off, my hair probably is like about right here. And that was like last year sometime. So, my hair probably is about right here right now if I never cut it. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's just hair. So, I try not to get too attached to my hair. But you guys, check out my new tattoo. Um, it's healing right now, but it's a lipstick, you know, because I love makeup. Okay, you guys, well, now I'm going to be sectioning off my hair. This is how I always cut my hair. I'm just combing the hair so it can be a little bit more even. Okay, so I parted one section down. Now I'm trying to measure to see how long I want it. But, to be honest with you guys, I really did not follow this pattern that I'm trying to find on my neck. Because I was trying to cut all of the dye pieces out of the back of my hair. So, my hair is not going to end up even in the back. Because I did want to cut like a little bit above where the dye was at. So, I could get all of the dye out of the back of my hair. So I'm just going to pop my hair again and basically I'm going to do the same thing I just did. And this actually left my hair looking really, really choppy. But I am happy that I got the dye pieces off because the dye pieces, they was just breaking off anyway and it was super dry. And I just did not have time for them anymore. So I'd rather have short, healthy hair than long, see-through ends. So if you guys are thinking about doing this, I would just advise you to maybe get like a spray. Like they have spray color. Just spray your hair a little bit and see if you actually going to commit to the color. But if you bleach and relax your hair, you know, it's going to start shedding off eventually so if you just want to put like the bleach in a couple of spots that's fine but do not 
bleach your whole hair if you are relaxed. Now I'm just showing you guys like the pieces that I had chopped off in the back. Um, I think that's about, I want to say about two and a half inches. I'm not exactly sure how I didn't measure it, but that was a lot of hair. So, yeah. I finished up the back. As you guys can see, she's not that even. Really like in the back part right up in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. See like right up in, like right up in here. But that's how my dye was, so that I cut my dye out that way. So that's how the dye was looking. So I'm like, I'm gonna leave it like this because I do want a little bit of length. So I just cut a little bit of layers in my hair. It is what it is. So now I'm going to go ahead and um rip on these side pieces okay so i don't know if i want to cut the whole side piece off or if i want to cut at a certain length okay um let's see i mentioned that i want to cut it to my jawbone so let's see how it looks when i cut it to my jawbone I'm not sure if I mentioned that I will be cutting my hair again. Like the pieces that I, I did not cut, like right up in here, uh, I will be cutting that in December. Okay, so this right here is all of the pieces I cut off. Okay, my hair look so choppy right now. <laughs> okay, so my hair looks so choppy right now. So I'm going to have to go in and do like a style or something. Um, how I would do my hair. But whew, it feels so good to get those ends off. So I'm going to be right back and I'm going to try to figure out like a style or something that I can actually do to my hair to make my hair look nice. So I'll be right back. So this is the only style that I can see myself wearing. Um, of course, I would throw a couple of curls. On my sides, like the front part of the sides, this right here is the hair. And this right here is the right side which is this side right here this is the back piece and this right here is like the left side of the back piece and then like we have like these little teeny tiny little straggly pieces that was just cut off anyway so i cut my hair because i had wanted to get those bleach ends off um i did not cut all of the bleach ends off but I cut majority of the bleach ends off I did not want my hair to be too short like this hair right here is pretty much short but I can you know deal with this still and I'm gonna be wearing protective styles and all that good stuff but anyway so I'll come to you guys today because I want to let you guys know um, before it get too late that I would not be coming to you guys in August. Today's date is July the 25th, 2019. Um, I will put a protective style in my hair August 1st and I do not like to um, talk about my hair whenever I do not have my hair out. So I would not be coming to you guys then. Um, the next time I will be doing a limb check and everything. You know, I don't even know when I probably do my limb check because I feel like I feel like I'm going to be cutting my hair again in December so I really don't feel like there's a point in actually um doing a limb check in my hair but um as you guys can see i have a whole lot of new growth you can't really tell that much because i did blow dry my hair but you can tell a little bit like right up in here like i have about this much about this much new growth right here 
So my hair grew about, I would say about a half, well, one inch and a half or maybe two inches in the last two months. So, no, I'm lying. My hair had grown two inches, well, one and a half to two inches in the last four months, okay? It's not August yet, but I would just go ahead and say it did grow about two inches in the last four months. Um, I still do my rice water. Um, nothing really changed. I just... Well, something did change. I did use a different brand of rice water, which that brand had broke off my hair. And I will let you guys know the brand and everything in this little clip right here. I was using was this right here. As you guys know, I always use my rice water. Um, I had my rice water challenge and everything. And the rice water that I was using was regular Walmart rice, like for a dollar, you know. Um, I don't eat a whole lot of rice. So I usually get like a little small bass for like, I think it was like actually 78 cents. I'm not exactly sure, but I know it's 70 something cent. Anyway, but um, my I had threw, me and my husband, we threw my brother a party. So I had cut some dirty rice. So I had bought some jasmine rice because you know jasmine rice is pretty good, okay? But anyway, so I had bought some jasmine rice and this is the little pack that it came in. And I was using the rice, I was making my rice water with the jasmine rice big mistake i mean i don't know why but it does not feel the same as the walmart rice feel and i did measure my hair like over the months that um i've started this whole um journey and my hair did not grow as much as it did when i was using the regular walmart water so i'm not sure i'm not sure if it's because of the rice but I'm not going to be using jasmine rice anymore. I'm just going to stick that I'm used to because this right here is not working for me. No, no, no. I mean, whatever your hair likes, if you're using this rice, go ahead and continue to use it. Everybody's different. I'm not a big fan of jasmine rice. I also started to use peppermint and rosemary oil. And if you guys want to see that, I will let you guys see that in this clip right here. But anyway, um... This right here is some more things that I'm using for my hair. Um, this is the peppermint oil, and this right here is rosemary oil, and this is how it looks. Um, this is, a, I think, a 0 0.5 fluid ounce. So, yeah, they, they're quite small. I have another one. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, so I have this right here. This is from Now Essentials, and I have bought this right here when I had my toothache. Um, a while ago, like years, like probably two years ago or something like that. But anyway, see how big, bigger it is compared to the other ones. All right, so I'm not exactly sure how much this one is because the price is already gone because I had it for super for a long time. I um, mean, this is actually almost gone itself. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Probably not. But anyway, this right here is um the clove for my teeth. But I just want to show you guys the the bottle size. All right, this right here is a one fluid ounce okay and like i said these right here is um 0 0.5 fluid ounces okay um anyway so these right here is um what i'm using in my hair and i feel like my hair is growing a little bit more because i'm using these essential oils like i really never use essential oils never in my life or on my hair i never used it before and i'm using it with this right here which is the virgin hair fertilizer i actually ordered some more because i'm almost out but this is right here what i'm using um, I just put, I just melt that inside a, um, cup with hot water and it melted down to liquid form and I just put it in this little jar right here. As you guys can see, I have a little bit left, um, I'll say about three days worth, about ugh, less than that, probably two days left, two days worth left. I can't even talk to you guys, but I got two days, I have a little bit left, okay? Um, anyway, so basically what I do, I just um, melt this inside of a cup, like I said, and then I put 10 drops of rosemary and 10 drops of um, peppermint oil inside this, and I just mix it up and I let it harden, and that's what I do to my hair. Um, it absolutely works. It penetrates my scalp and everything. It makes my um, scalp nice and um, warm or tangly. I should say warm when I'm talking about warm. It made my, my scalp nice and tangly and that means that your hair is growing basically. So I absolutely love this. This is my new best friend. I will continue to buy these right here in the rosemary. It helps with um stimulate I'm not stimulate your scalp, but it helps um grow helps grow your hair and the peppermint oil helps stimulate your scalp. And these are the little um boxes that it came in and this is the name. I do not know how to pronounce it so I'm not gonna try to but this is the name right here and this is how the box actually um look whatever 
if you guys want to pause that you can but yeah so um, I'm also using my wild growth oil still and I, I put my peppermint and my rosemary oil in this little bottle right here too I usually put about 20 drops in this bottle because it's, it's such a huge bottle and then I just shake it up and I just put it in my scalp whenever I do not use um whenever I do not use my virgin hair fertilizer um I know that I said that I'm going to use my virgin hair fertilizer like every day but no I cannot do that because it actually weighs my hair down a whole lot so I I use my hair virgin my virgin hair fertilizer I use it like um three to four times a week and I just use this right here just once a week you know whenever I don't feel like extra grease in my hair and I just you know because this right here they have an applicator bottle and you could just do like this, you know, just put like drops any way you want to. But with this, you actually have to part your hair and put it where you want to put it at. I mean, if you want to, you can melt it down and everything. But that's just too much work, so no. Well, on my lazy days, I use this right here. My um, my wild growth oil. Anyway, so that is it, you guys. I don't think I have anything else to tell you guys. Oh, yeah. um, I did cut my ends. I'm going to stand up for you guys. Okay, so I did cut my ends. I'm just going to try to part my hair with my finger so you guys can actually get a better look. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Let me turn on my torch. Alright, so as you guys can see, I cut my ends. Like I had like a whole bunch of like little straggly pieces, which I still have a bunch of straggly pieces, but they're not as bad as it was. And I cut my hair a little bit more even. Um, not even, but you know, it's like, it's like a layered look, but it's like more, a little more even. Hello you guys. Well, I just found out that I was pregnant and I just want to let you guys know that I will not be coming to you guys in a while. So the next time you guys may see me is in December, whenever I do my perm and my lymph check, I am still doing my journey. So just stay tuned.